Hello, guys. I'm Lisa. And I'm Natasha. And we were wondering, are you free for coffee? Welcome, welcome. Hey, guys. Listen, y'all, um, I've been shopping lately, and I was wondering, where do you guys like to shop? Like clothes shop. Okay, I was about to say, have, like clothing? Do you have, like, a favorite place? I do, but it's not a place. Well, I believe they have a location in Austin, Texas, but I have only ever shopped there for online and it's mod cloth. Oh yeah. I love the my inner hippie loves Oh yeah, that's a great mod place. Cloth. I actually got my wedding dress from Mod Cloth. Oh. Yeah. Many years ago. Like now they have an entire uh, section that's wedding dresses. When I got it, I just found a dress that I loved, and it was my wedding dress. So cool. Yeah. So mine is my. Where do you like to shop? Well, there's a place in Richardson called Boku. Okay. B e a u c o u p. Okay. Um, I they do have a website. Let me. Um, All right. Is it like a boutique? I mean, it's, it's very judging bo- by the name. It, it's very <laughs> boutiquey, but they have the cutest stuff, y'all. So cute. BokuTexas.com. Like what, what style um, do they cater to? Oh, gosh. I don't know. Kind of a little bit of everything. Really? But, okay. Uh, it, it can swing young or anybody can wear it. It's just super cute stuff. And I love free people. And when I was in Chicago, um, I went to free people movement, which I had not. I think there's one in North Park, which I hadn't been to North Park in a minute. So that's why I didn't know. But it's it's free people. But it's kind of their sportswear workout stuff. Okay. And I got the cutest jumpsuit that's so... I had to fight my daughter over it. <laughs> okay, well, she was sweet. Cute. She let me have it. Um, just so cute. But I like I like both of them. And made well. I like them. I don't and, know I, about I, them. And all of them, they have, uh, they have websites. So you can... Yeah, you and know, we'll, we'll put yeah. it on our listing. And then I love for websites, just strictly websites they have stores too but not here um is draper james who is reese witherspoon's little shop oh. they have the cute, they're kind of preppy i could i, um, I mean that's very yeah reasonable. super cute and ann mashburn who there is a website they're in atlanta but it's kind of it can be preppy but it's kind of it can be boho y chic too. Okay. That that would be my dream. Yeah, I love and they have a uh a, a brother website, Sid Mashburn, for the guys. So that's kind of a cool one. We need so, to we'll post all of those. Yeah, we will. But if you're in Texas in DFW, swing by Boku. They yes. just have cute, cute stuff. They have home look accessories too. That's where I knew them from. They used to lean more to that. And then they, they had a few clothes, but I guess the clothes really took off. So there there's more of that in a few home things. But it's a cute little shop. So in Rich, Richardson. So do you guys, are there any like video games or board games that you like? I like both. <laughs> I like both, but I'm kind of a self-proclaimed nerd. So. Do you have a preference between like video games versus board games or? Um, okay. I do play some games on my phone. One is Redecor, which is a decorating app and it's so fun. And I have, I have bought y'all fake carpet and paintings and stuff. I mean, for the paid game? for, paid for on the game, which is just like crazy, but I've done it. I and it's so it. fun. I'm addicted. Like, and it, like, uh, you know, it's kind of like a scene pops up and you pick like the fabric, it? pick the okay. that carpet, is, that pick is the so rose you. and all that. It's so fun. That so cool. that's my favorite. And I do play Mahjong, which oh. I do like. Now, online, it's very different than like real Mahjong. It's really just matching. Okay. But, you know, Mahjong, if you're actually playing the game with the tiles and stuff, it's kind of like Jim Gin Rummy. You know, there's suits and you, um, I mean, they're called different things, but it's that same kind of situation, like gin rummy. I've never played it online. I, I have a set and I have a dear friend who 
tried to play with me. <laughs> it didn't work. Number one, I'm so non-competitive. I'm not a good game person. People don't like to play with me because I just don't care. Are you really chill about it? I don't care who wins. What? We're just chilling. No, I'm competitive. And, you know, drinking and whatever. So I'm, I'm, I'm pretty frustrating to play with, but it is fun. I'm and she and her sisters play and I do have a set and I love play. It's just a tactile game. It's, they're tiles like dominoes kind of, but instead of the little dots, you know, there's uh little Asian uh, symbols, right? Yeah. Symbols and things. And they call them different. It's like seasons and it's a whole situation, but online it's really kind of matching but it does help you know what goes together because that's what you need to do just like gin rummy you're matching or you're doing a suit you're going so it's that same thing but i do like mahjong so i on my phone but it's hard to get people who are consistent i love words with friends Oh my gosh. I love words I with friends, that- but no one's consistent. Like you get into it and then they fall off and you're like, ah, oh. so I love that one. And my husband, we get in these zones where we play it. Like literally we'll be in the bed together facing opposite mm-hmm. directions, like crazy people. Um, so that's a fold one. I love Bejeweled. Oh, which is I just, have played that. Which is just matching. Yeah, I, that's another, yeah. when I'm, when I'm in flight, that's usually what I'm playing. Those are mindless games. They which are. are. Sometimes They're, you just which need is that fun. little yes. a break. <laughs> but board games, break. I like Scrabble. I don't always follow the Scrabble dictionary, but I do like Scrabble. We, you know, we use culturally appropriate terms. Right. Like, so they still count for us. Um, like Ebonics. Ebonics, yes. I like Uno, which is oh, a card game. Fun. I haven't played Uno in forever. I like, my black card is forever revoked. I cannot play dominoes <laughs> and I can't play spades. Really? No. I can play both. <laughs> I can't, I can't I have play. Play. We have some friends, uh, but they've divorced and moved away and whatever, but that we used to play spades with, but it's fun. I do like spades. I can't do but, it. Um, my sister loves bananagrams, which is like Scrabble without a board. Yes. So what, you know, there's several ways you can play, but how we usually play is whoever is starting off just puts down a word and then we just all build, you know, you just take turns and we just build on that. And okay. just, you know, that's, it, that's it, how it gets I play. huge on the table. Cause you're just going in every direction. That's, that's how I play that. Yeah. Too. That's fun. That's a fun. I, I like Scrabble. So do you too. like any video games? No, I don't have the hand eye coordination. You know, you have to be, you do. You do. I, I don't possess that. I used to play, like I used to love God of war. Um, my kids and I watch, I play it sometimes when no one's home, but I don't usually have time. Spyro. Like it's, it's a dragon and it's like oh, obstacles okay. and it has to get past. So anyway, my kids are really, they like all the dragons, right? They think that's cool talking dragons, but my husband has excellent hand-eye coordination. He can play Most any game. guys do. They yes. have great motor so, skills. I, I, not to say, I'm sure there's some girls that do. There are some I, I really not, cool female I don't gamers. It. I do not possess Yeah, that. I did when I was younger and when I did it more, but I don't have the time. So it's it's frustrating because, you know, as soon as you get something started, I have to go do something and I'm like, ah, so, but we my, do watch him. My youngest son is a big Oh, is gamer. he? Yes. I didn't Connor. know that. Connor, my favorite. But um, yeah, he loves video games. I did not know that. Yeah, still. Yeah, like him they and Cedric, yeah, yeah, they don't outgrow it. No, I and when I have time. So fun fact, I guess we could share. We were married. We were technically married in Fort Worth, but our wedding ceremony, all that, was at a, an adult arcade in oh, Richardson. Oh, fun! Yeah, free play arcade, and we love free play. There's mo- there's Denton, Arlington, uh, Richardson. I know I'm missing at least one. But yeah, we love games enough to oh, have gotten fun. married at an arcade. That's fun. So yeah, Mortal yeah. Kombat. No, was my, our... just the, the phone ones, I guess. They're easy because it's with you. Right. It's, it's with you. And they're mindless. Sometimes you just want to disengage. And that's yes. what it, that does for me. For it's you. just yeah. kind of a mindless something. And, you know. And my daughter, her brain must be wired a little similarly. When she's re- when she's like, Ugh, she goes to uh, be- Bejeweled. And oh, she'll just. Doop, 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 it is doop. fun. I do so, like the matching ones. They, they yes. don't take any skill. They don't take any skill. I can <laughs> just do fun. it and I'm good. Yes. yes. They're fun. Oh my goodness. Well, this is like our kind of the warm up to one of our favorite seasons. We love yes. Christmas. Yes. And in honor of 
Christmas in July, I want to share a little gifty, you know, sometimes with your neighbors, I call them happy for my homies, happies for my homies. But, um, you know, like if you're in a Bible group or a, a, a women's group or your neighbors or the people you work with, you just want to give them a little something, something. Well, I have a really cute one. And you guys maybe have done this, but I'm going to refresh your memory because I do this. It's like, oh, I did that years ago. And then you remember it again, you know, but find some bottles and they have to be bottles that can be stopped either with a cap or a cork or something. You have to be able to seal it up and you can get them at flea market sometimes or garage sales or, and I'm sure Amazon has all kinds of cool ones and try to get some pretty ones, but and some vodka. I, when I do it, I do not use good vodka. No, no, there's no need. Yeah. I mean, if you want to use Grey Goose, you know, do you, boo. But you can get the cheap stuff. And just fill it up. I mean, leave a little, you know, couple inches at the top free. And then put in, I like to put in a lot. I would say two or three. But at some least. people just do one. But I, I would do two or three. Uh, vanilla beans, you know, the long stem. A lot of people have never Uh, seen vanilla beans. Yeah. They're, they're long. We'll put, we'll put a picture. They're long, skinny. They look almost like twigs. Yes. And they're they're black. But the reason I'm telling you now, you need to do it now because it takes a while. Yes. So for the flavor to actually settle and taste like. And for it to get dark. Yes. Too. Yes. So put those in the vodka, in the pretty bottle, put the stopper on it or the cork and put it in your pantry. And at Christmas, you'll have homemade vanilla extract. That is really And people good. are so happy to get that. Everybody uses that. They can yes. put in their coffee, pancakes. Know, when they bake, yep. pancakes. You can use it for tons of stuff, but you have to do it now. And I mean, it takes you a while to find some cute bottles. Me, because I, yes. you know, I want to be. You cute. know who has cute bottles? Royal Market. Yes. When I did, it was years ago. But the last time I did this, I they got do. cute bottles at World they Market. They do. They do. And they came with the cork. Oh, cool! So that was kind of a plus. Yeah. You. It takes a minute to probably source and find what you want because the bottle's important. Yes. You want the bottle. Well, that's to be the whole pretty. gifting experience. Right. The ambiance. The the look of it. Yeah. What, but, so do you ever use flavored vodka for yours? I'm curious. No, I just, no, I just get I the, did the use cheap... the vanilla vodka. I do not recommend it. Okay. It kind of, kind it of almost weird... gave an artificial taste. Like okay. it was over vanilla if that makes yeah, any sense. And I was yeah. like, oh man, but it was what I had. So <laughs> I had it and was like, oh, I so can do this. Do that. And this is another thing. You can be sourcing some really pretty silk ribbon you know, go all out with the ribbon Yes, and a beautiful tag. And there you go. You got happies for your homies. We should do a little tutorial. Yeah. I guess that'll be our first video post. We'll do a tutorial because they the still have time, time, even yeah. if they do their Christmas in July and the beginning of August. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. we can do, we, and we'll, we'll post do that. too. And I'll, I'll show you what some bottles look like, but that's a fun one. And people are so happy to get it and you will be like their number one best friend. Yes. When, when you gift it. So, and it's not expensive, especially when you get the inexpensive yes. packaging right, and bottle uh, and, then, and vodka and the vanilla. There's usually per jar that a jar of vanilla is usually like, I don't know, seven ninety nine to eleven ninety nine, And there's at least three, maybe five stems in there. Okay. So you probably can so get two. You can get two jars, probably get two out of one jar. Yeah. So yeah. And it's inexpensive and heartfelt. Yeah. So, so basically, I mean, that's $10 and under yes. all in. Yeah. Probably. For sure. And you probably can get some bottles. Even sometimes the dollar store, Dollar Tree and stuff has some. Yeah. You, you have to look. But it does. It, I do. Look. I Just recommend sure glass. Can, I guess. Yes, me too. I it guess has to be glass. To. It needs to be glass. I feel like it has to be. So. Yeah. So. Are you going to your, your My sexiest, sexiest man, man alive? Okay, I have somebody really good and a little story to go with him. Okay. So, my boyfriend this week <laughs> is Anderson Cooper, who is a dreamboat. But let me tell you my story about him. My oldest daughter, y'all know I have four kids, four grown kids. 
Um, but my oldest daughter went to Tulane, went to grad school at Tulane. And if you guys live in New Orleans or you could get to New Orleans, go to a Tulane graduation. I have been to a bazillion graduations with four kids. You know, they all, they're all college graduates, three are postgraduate, just lots of degrees and lots of graduations. It was by far the best. It, really? I did not look at my watch like one time. They had, it was, they were the graduating class that came after Katrina. So it was kind of a big deal. Okay. And the Saints had won the Super Bowl. So they were there, y'all, the what? owners of the Saints and some of the Saints. They had this jazz singer that was be- sang a beautiful song, with it, something about what it means to Miss New Orleans. It, I can't remember exactly, but it was beautiful. Um, Anderson Cooper spoke. It just, it just was gorgeous. But the message, you guys, it was so good. Now this will encourage somebody today. So he has a degree in English, okay. which you know, um, that's not. <laughs> he's, you know, yeah, he's got to do something with that. He's not a teacher, so <laughs> yeah. I did. I guess he did go to grad school. So he he wanted to be in journalism. And if for you guys that don't know, his mother was Gloria Vanderbilt. Correct. So you would think they'd have all kinds of contacts, but some kind of way it didn't pan out. So he just couldn't get a job. Just couldn't get a job. So he decided, okay, I have a camera. I have a a video camera. So what he would do is when these little skirmishes, (laughs) little mini wars or, you know, mini something would happen. And of course the networks back then, I guess when you guys are, you know, was who Peter Jennings and some, you know, whoever it was, they weren't trying to send Peter Jennings and whoever their main people to these little skirmishes. So he would just go and film a little thing. Hi, this is Anderson Cooper. Da da da. This is happening, and he would sell the video. I did not know to this. these different news outlets, and ha- created his own job. So I did not know that. The whole theme of the graduation was, you know, kind of coming back, make your, your own way, your, and you know, because the Saints had been terrible for many years, and they kind of, <laughs> and it was after Katrina, and it was just kind of this theme. So it was so encouraging, and it was basically like. Don't take no. Right. Just find a way. Find a way. And I was so impressed. He was, he was so, you know, he's charming. You know, y'all watch him on CNN. He's charming and he's cute as a bug. Um, That's only, that's. And it was just so wonderful. So for you out there who maybe have gotten a no, don't Mm. take a no. There's another way. There's another way. There's another way. You, it might not look like you thought it was going to look, but there's another way. And he showed that. And, Ta-da! You know, he's on CNN yeah. and the main guy, but um, that's how he got his start. That is pretty awesome. Isn't that awesome? That is. I feel like I want to steal your, <laughs> your crush. <laughs> so I have another story about meeting him. Oh, which really? Is t- yes. So I used to do HIV advocacy, HIV testing, huh. STD, STI, counseling and testing. And so we there was a parade. It was a miniature thing for Life Walk. And we're joking because we're like, oh my gosh, like that guy is as hot. This is from a distance, yeah. right? And I wear glasses and it's a distance. So in my head, he was going to be my Anderson Cooper. And it was legit Anderson oh Cooper. Oh my god! And so it, there were a few other celebrities that showed up really encouraging, getting tested, knowing your status, um, having safe talks. But we couldn't even do our jobs. We were all like, he's just, so cute. Just the drooling. The bluest eyes. Oh my and I was and that drooling. Hair. I was drooling. And my daughter was like, Mom, you know he's gay. <laughs> yes. And I'm like, yeah. We don't care like about that. 20 years, probably too young, too. But Let yeah. me tell you, but, I'm a vegetarian, but I drool over right? steak. Oh, and my gosh. I don't care about he that. Is, he's adorable. He was. And just as charming and w- well spoken, which y'all know that. I mean, yeah, he, that's what he does for a living. But it was, he was just funny and. Seriously, I did not look at my watch one time. And you, let me tell you, you know, you're always been, checking. I have been to some doggish, doggish yes. graduations. You, you know, my worst now. Since we're let's talk. My son, oh, my oldest son, uh, is a lawyer and graduated from William and Mary, and. 
which is in Williamsburg, and they got Justice Scalia to be their person um, who spoke. Yeah, their keynote speaker for the graduation. And it was it was quite a coup because they were the only law school that had a sitting Supreme Court justice speak. Okay. This is before he, you know, this has been he's he's passed away since then. But y'all, God God bless his soul. <laughs> it was so bad. Was it boring? No. Okay, this is what was so bad. And what the boring I could even take. He just got off on this tangent about how law school's too expensive and just the, oh. you know the 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 condition of the law today and just all kinds of stuff. You don't want to hear that when your kid no. is graduating law school. We don't want to hear that. That's not the way to go. Well, half of them are sitting there thinking about their own damn student loans. Right. I don't care about that. I mean, it just, it, it just was <laughs> that so horrible. off. It landed so flat and just, you know, we were all that like, sounds bad. it was terrible. y'all. <laughs> so I have been to some dogs. So trust me when I tell you it was a that great, was a good one. It was so awesome. And since Tulane, just get on their website and look who they're who's coming for graduation every year. It's like the next good. year, because Whitney has two degrees from Tulane, but the next year it was Stevie Wonder and somebody. I mean, they have like okay, it's like a whole they have a good situation, budget. right? <laughs> they got a budget for this. So if you if you live in New Orleans or you're in New Orleans with Tulane graduates, just roll by the graduation, y'all. It's they, wonderful. Yeah, it's not like they got a budget. <laughs> it's wonderful, but that's my Anderson Cooper. That is so funny. Well, I think we're going to share the sexiest now. Okay, I, I, share. I, well, I'll I share. love just this week. Yeah, just because next week we'll have someone new. Triangle. Just this it's week. A, this <laughs> just is our this own week. version of sex I can do life it for a week. <laughs> I guess Anderson Cooper is Billy. I'm Coop, and you're Brad. Oh man, oh, poor gosh. Coop. Poor Coop. I just i I'm still stuck on what's going to happen. If y'all haven't watched it yet, you have just to get on over there. And watch it. It and is. It is for sale. My little daughter in law. She saw us talking about ice cream, and she started craving ice cream. <laughs> but she hadn't watched Sex Life yet. So I then when she started know. watching it, she said, "Oh, they weren't talking about no, that. This was not about okay. vanilla, so nor Rocky Road." Yeah, but watch it if you haven't. You know, be be prepared. And you still have plenty if of you're time. In the mood you have plenty of time before sexy. season two. Yeah. Oh yeah. And it's a lot of sexy. Yeah. You need to be yeah. in the mood for a lot. A lot yeah. <laughs> But we will, as usual, post all of this to our Instagram, which is Are You Free for Coffee? And until next time, we hope you guys stay chill. Thanks for stopping by.